here's our spot. We like this spot actually. It's very nice. At one point, I guess there was some type of mobile home here. So it's landscaped. It's got a nice walk, walking path that goes around it. It feels very tropical. And it's our home for the next month. Saturday night and sunset over South Padre Island. Doesn't get any better than that, does it, honey? I can't think of a way that it would get any better than this. <laughs> Look very relaxed. We happen to be at the KOA. This is their sunset deck. We're just gonna call it that. We don't know if it's officially the sunset deck, but it looks like it. And I expected there to be a crowd. Hmm. Not yet, it's still 20 minutes to sunset, so. Yeah, Shauna had to get here early. <laughs> All right, and here's our sunset. Here's the star of the show right across the way. I think you've got a pretty good vantage point. Looking pretty good. As you live in an RV full time doesn't mean you can't enjoy a little Christmas spirit. You can see Ricky and Lucy are certainly getting into the spirit. Fascinated with the Christmas tree. So what you fishing for today? Whatever bites. What are you fishing with? Cut bait. Oh. Okay. Cut bait. Can you show us? Island. I don't know if you can see how windy it is. Muy frio. Muy frio. Definitely. You can tell we're all bundled up in jackets and hats. A week ago we were in shorts and tank tops. Starship SN8 from uh, Boca Chica, and we've waited. So, yeah, it looks like it's going to be delayed. It's supposed to be roughly 11 a.m. Central Standard Time, and it's going to be pushed back. This vehicle pass is going to be pushed back to about uh, 4 o'clock or 1600 Central Time-ish. Maybe. Who knows? A lot of people gathering though here. Yeah, there are um, several hundred, I think, just in this area. Mm -hmm. And it's actually a pretty good viewing area. So just across the channel here is uh, where the launch facility is. So it should be pretty cool to watch. Hopefully it's gonna land roughly in the same area and not out in the ocean. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Or crash, rather. Yeah. So Elon Musk is putting a success rate of about 33%. And he's known to be sort of uh, conservative with his guesstimate, so probably 
<laughs> That's my guess. So much anticipation, but the countdown stopped at T minus one second, and that was it for the day. Hey, y'all. All right, we're here for take two, round two, numero dos, part two, whatever you want to say, uh, space launch, mm -hmm. SpaceX launch. Of the Starship SMA. So uh, about an hour away or so. Looking good today. Not sure what happened yesterday, except that there was a Raptor engine abort, whatever that means. Obviously a safety mechanism uh, protocol in place to protect the, uh, the Starship. So anyway, today is redo day. And uh, as you can see, many hundreds, if not thousands of people gathered here on uh, Isla Blanca on South Padre Island to watch this thing do something. I'm feeling good about this one today. I'm feeling like it's actually going to happen. It was. All intents and purposes, a successful launch, not so much a successful landing, but hey. Uh, yeah, the fact that we'll it was it able... 99%. Oh my God. The, and the fact the, that it was able to go up and fall and then come back straight. Yeah. And I guess it landed close to the pad. I don't know how much, how close. Not sure exactly where it landed from its intended landing uh, zone, but I would say probably pretty close. But uh, as you can see in the video, I mean, just uh, pretty spectacular. We're about six nautical miles or so from the launch facility. Mm -hmm. And it took about, what would you say, three or four seconds for the sound from the ignition of the engines to actually reach oh, yeah. us. So they came in hot. Came in hot, yeah. <laughs> pretty, pretty yeah. cool nonetheless. Absolutely. So, an awesome spectacle. That's uh, certainly a first for us uh, for any kind of rocket launch in, in terms of being you know, live in person here watching it. So yes. Cool. Well, we definitely killed off that bowl of mussels. They were delicious. What'd you think? Sorry, got him with his mouth open. Or mouth. 
food in his mouth. Yeah. I can't talk. Certainly some of the best mm -hmm. mussels we've had for sure. So up next is Seaquit Alfredo for me and Ahi Pokey. Ahi Pokey. South Padre Pokey. Yeah. We are uh, having our last meal here on South Padre Island and we decided to come to Sea Ranch Restaurant. We've heard a lot of good things about it. And it's on the higher end, I would say, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can expect to spend probably at least $60 a couple. Yeah. At least. So higher end for the island. So I got the Padre Pokey, and Brian got the, what did you get there? It looks like shrimp. Seafood Alfredo, blackened shrimp, scallops, blue crab, and Alfredo pasta. Oh my gosh. How is it so far? Pretty good. One sunrise, we've been here 10 weeks, this will be our first sunrise. Heading to the beach, and the waters look really calm again. It's unusual. Just remember where we go. God. 